Everybody say it with me now. Hup! When Hup first arrived on scene in the very first episode, he immediately became everyone's new favorite character. With his mighty spoon and brave, warm heart, Hup is a valued, dedicated member of the Resistance. But who is this guy? And why is he so great? Paladine! Huh? Brother Paladine! Hop! Oh. Wait, no, Hop! Hop! <laughs> Protector the Anar Iruya! Utsa! Ya Vaprin Lady Po! Piata! Ya Noble Quest! Important message for Alma Udra! I shall escort you personally to the All Mordra. <laughs> to begin to understand Hup, you must understand the Podlings. Podlings, or Pod People as they were called, were a peaceful indigenous race of beings who were resistant to change, pacifists, and often very happy musicians living simple lives farming, merrymaking, drinking, and, well, eating lots of mud. But aside from their fun side, the Podlings were actually quite humble people, and some of their folklore was surprisingly beautiful. For instance, they believed that their three sons were brothers who once fought over the Daughter of the Moon, and when she drowned herself out of sorrow, they would do battle every 999 and one trine, or every great conjunction. Unlike his more wild and unruly counterparts, Hup stood out from the rest, because he actually had ambition and drive. No podling in history had ever wanted to become something even remotely like a paladin before. So Hup doesn't just dream, he dreams very big. But by far, his most important quality is his kindness. When Deet was being attacked by the Arathum, Hup jumped into her rescue without any question. While most podlings in that circumstance would have just, you know, had some mud and moved on with their day. <laughs> But not Hup. Hup is noble and very proud of his abilities, and he knows he must prove himself to his loyal companions at all times. In fact, Hup is so loyal and aggressive, he went toe to toe with the hunter. He was the very first one to step into battle. Sadly though, his powerful spoon wasn't enough to defeat the fierce Skekmal, but that didn't matter. In the end, Hup showed he has the most heart, and that is what counts. Interestingly though, we did see throughout the series that Hup seems to have a certain distaste for some Gelflings like the Stonewood clan, and it's actually confirmed online that he does hold certain prejudices. But remember that clans like the Vapra were incredibly loyal and dedicated themselves, but to the Skeksis, and would often disrespect Podlings in many ways. Even so, like everyone else, Hup was able to see past his differences and come together with his fellow companions to rise up for the greater good. Hup is not only a true leader of the resistance, but a true leader of the podlings as well. And no doubt, his spoon will be the mightiest in the land someday very soon. So, what do all of you think about Hup? Is he your favorite character, and why? Leave all of your thoughts and opinions, and hey, favorite Hup moments down below in the Great White Void. And I'll see you guys back here for the next video very soon.